Okay, it's Robert Eagleson here with the uh, Hook and Aqua Club Calgary. And today I am doing a um, synthetic quill deer hair emerger fly. So what has sold me on this fly is the uh, synthetic um, uh, quill hair. So we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, so my hook, I am using a Deichi in a uh, uh, clink hammer. Uh, style. This is a uh, Daiichi 1167 in a size 14. For my bead, I am using a um, brass bead in a size 764s or 2.8 millimeter. This color is a uh, tangerine, which I, I quite like as opposed to a little more spark than the uh, copper or the gold. Uh, the tail I am using, um, this is a, a flank feather from a, a ringneck pheasant, uh, dark copper with the, uh, the black tips. The uh, abdomen here, as I mentioned, is the um, um, tapered synthetic quill material. So this is, I don't know, there's about 20, 22 quills on there. You're going to get about three flies out of a quill, uh, depending on the size of the fly. Um, but I quite like this material. I've got a little, I put some UV over, over top of it just to make it bulletproof, but that's uh, strictly your own choice. For the wing case, I am using uh, micro chenille. I like the, the fuzziness there that that adds to the fly merger style. And the wings, of course, I'm using uh, deer hair. So let's get started. <coughs> so I have already smashed my barb and I'm going to mount my hook. I'm going to add about eight wraps of, uh, I think this is 0 0.015 lead wire. Once I've got that in, then I'm just going to push that right up into that bead just to help center that bead a little bit. My thread, I've got uh, 70 denier or 8 aught tan. I'm just going to build a bit of a dam behind that lead, through the lead, and then clip my excess thread. And I'll bring this down. I'm just going to tip my hook a bit. Then I'm going to take my uh, ringneck pheasant flank feather and I'm going to pull off oh, about six, seven, five, I'm not sure it doesn't matter here, so about that many of the tail fibers. And I'm just going to cinch that down and I want to come down that bend quite a ways here. And then I'll just build that back up, straighten up my hook, clip my excess. I'm just going to counter spin my thread and I'm just going to build up a really nice smooth taper for that quill. Try to flatten that thread out. Alright, let's tie in that quill. So I've already tied one fly from this. So I'm just going to take this now. It's got a sticky side. I want the sticky side facing me. Because when I flip it over, then the other side is going to be... I've got that tied in by the tip and again I'm just going to try to flatten that thread and make a nice even taper right up to that lead. Alright, that's looking pretty good there I think. Alright, 
Let's give that a half hitch. Get my thread out of the way. I'll take my quill and I'm just going to wrap that forward then. Alright, and then we'll just tie that off, clip my excess. Now, entirely optional, but I like to put a little bit of uh, UV resin there just to really seriously bulletproof this fly. So this is Solar Res Bone Dry. Quite like this. It's And we'll take my torch and we'll just hit that torch, hit the resin with the torch. It makes it bulletproof. Okay, now I'm going to put in my um, wing case. I mentioned I'm using the micro chenille, so I'm just going to take a short section of this. And I'm going to bring it from underneath. And then I'm just going to tie that off. So, so when I bring that over top, I get the, get the fuzzy there. All right, now I need a small dubbing loop. My dubbing loop in there. Pitch there again. I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, dubbing wax here and I'm just going to put just a touch of wax on that thread. <coughs> there, here, I'm going to take just a tiny, tiny little pinch of deer hair. You don't want too much. Here. So, I've got uh, lots here, I've got, so I'll take my deer hair and then I'm just going to comb all the uh, junk out of it. I'm going to drop it in my stacker. So I've got just a, just a little bit of deer hair here. I'm just going to take that deer hair and I'm just going to clip off most of it. And then I'm just going to pinch it inside my dubbing loop. About like that. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to try to cut all those butt ends off. Maybe even that out, just spread that out a bit if I can. I'm going to pinch that loop below, and then I'm just going to spin the bottom of the loop. I'm going to keep spinning until that thread loop gets shorter, then I'm going to let go. And got that hair spun in my, uh, my dubbing loop. Alright, so I'm just going to take this and I'll try to sweep all that back as I wrap forward. I'm just going to grab my thread, tie off that loop. Bring my wing case over and just secure that with a, a loop or two. Let's come in here and just clip the excess. Try 
Try to get all that deer hair out of the way. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of Sally Hansen's nail polish here. And I'm just going to put just a touch of that on that thread. Get my whip finisher. And I will just whip finish that nail polish soap thread right in behind that bead. Clip my excess thread, and there we go. I uh, I kind of like this fly, uh, especially like the uh, the synthetic quill. Never used that before, and uh, I kind of like the fuzziness of the wing case. Um, I think this will be a uh, a very good fly. Thanks for watching.